Good morning, everybody. This is the second morning uh, with the Val uh, off in North Carolina, and um, Mojo is really feeling it, man. I'm sorry, Mojo. Mojo's very sad. Freckles is sad, but he's okay. And Boomer's just angry with me for paying more attention to Mojo because he needs some lovin's. I'm sorry, Mojo. Come up here, Mojo. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. Um, it is Friday morning. We're still at the hospital. There is a possibility of Pa going home today. However, he has to have a bowel movement or they won't release him from the hospital. Sucks. Um, because he really wanted to go home. Uh, so they're going to do an enema. And hopefully that works quickly. And cleans him out quick enough and he doesn't feel like he has to continue to go so that we can leave today. If not, if he doesn't feel like he's emptied enough, then we will be here another night and we will go home tomorrow. And <sighs> still here. This place is wonderful. Everybody here is wonderful. They really are. Um, I'm glad my parents decided to stay in North Carolina instead of taking him back up to New York or to North Carolina. Um, it was a good idea because the doctors all here know him, know his case, know everything about what's going on. Hospice is already involved. If we they moved back to New York or to Connecticut, then they would have to deal with everybody all over again, getting to know them, getting to know his idiosyncrasies and all of that stuff. And um, it's just much better this way. And um, I'll be here to help. And uh, Megan's coming in to visit. My niece Casey is coming down. Uh, my other niece Jessica is trying to come in. Uh, my sister Karina is trying to come down for a little while. Uh, Brendan took leave um, from military for the weekend, and he's coming in. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so um, everybody's got all the good cameras, and I've got this camera. And I'm things wrong with this camera is it doesn't have a, an LCD, so I can't tell if this is exactly pointing at me correctly. It takes beautiful pictures. But um, I can't tell what, what I'm pointing at. So, that's beside the point. I have to go to the store. We've run out of uh, supplies. You know, the important stuff like, uh, like Diet Coke and chocolate. Of course, I need to get stuff for the critters, too. They're, they've run low on food, as usual. They eat like crazy. And, um, I had to take all these tests for uh, these particular uh, companies and I just took the one for the one I interviewed for yesterday and it was a bear it was crazy and uh, I hate these kind of tests and as a uh, human resource uh, a person I, I always question the, the, the validity of them use of them and the need for them. It really only tests how well you take tests. So, um, I don't know. You know, it, uh, it's a random test. You don't expect what's coming. Uh, and other things that upset me was this is the second time I've had to take a test on Excel. And, um, I'm very good on the Excel spreadsheet. However, um, the most current spreadsheet I've ever worked on was 2003, and as usual, Microsoft can't just improve something, they have to 
reorganize it so you can't find anything. And uh, when I ask you to format, in the old days, I would just go to the tab that says format. So there is no format tab anymore, so I'm kind of confused. So I'm, it's just going to take me time to figure it out. It's the same program, they just moved everything and uh, reorganized it, redefined it. So my dad is and always saying that. how he wants two hot young chicks. So I got him two hot young chicks today. I think that's reasonable, a request from your dad to get him what he wants. What do you guys think? Here's his hot young chicks that I got him. And they light up. <laughs> and I named them Red with the pink flower and Frida with the blue hat for Fred and Rita, but I switched the, the letters around. Isn't that funny? Aren't they cute? Red and Frida. My dad's two hot young chicks. I just got out of the store and it pours rain. I am actually soaked. It's crazy. It just came out of nowhere. And it's blowing and it's cold. When we we haven't had a cold rain in a while. Most of our rains have been the um, subtropical ones. So this is what we're looking at now. Let's see if I can get out of here. All right, so making a pit stop at the post office to see if we got any uh, neighbor mail. Okay, everybody, so this is getting close to the end of our uh, vlog. And um, it was a little chaotic, a very strange one. It poured rain today, as you could see here in California. Um, and um, Val, I think, fell asleep a couple hours ago, and she, which is great because I don't think she's had much sleep in the last couple of days. And I, what makes me think that is uh, the Walking Dead video didn't didn't come up so I think she fell asleep so I'm sorry with no walking dead today but I think it's pretty important that she got that sleep um, before I say goodbye I need to say I uh, uh, some thoughts and prayers for uh, Michael DeSanto's friend Peggy's daughter Molly that sounds a little complicated but uh, Molly is in the hospital right now and she's having seizures and are having trouble getting them under control Thoughts and prayers to you guys um, and everybody else who's uh, having issues like uh, like all of us are. So I hope you enjoyed hanging out with all of us today. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't subscribed or if you've been unsubscribed, go ahead and subscribe down below. And share this video with your friends and uh, neighbors and everybody you know. And say goodnight. To Sleepy Boomer. Good night, Sleepy Boomer. Good night.